Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 186, adding custom validators to forms. In our previous tip, we talked about using JavaScript to add custom logic to your Power Pages basic and advanced forms. In this tip, I'll talk specifically about adding additional validation to your forms. Power Pages is built using ASP.NET Web Forms technology and so form validation is done using the validator controls. ASP.NET Web Forms provide a client-side API to programmatically add validators using JavaScript, so you can leverage this functionality to add your own custom validation. The Create Case page in the Dynamics 365 templates provide a great example of adding a custom validator to a form. At a high level, you need to create a span element that includes certain properties like the control to validate, the error message, and the evaluator function. The evaluator function is where you put your custom logic. If that function returns true, then the validation passes, and if it returns false, the validation fails. After you create the span, add it to the page underscore validators array. This adds it to the ASP.NET Web Forms validation framework meaning your logic will automatically be called when the form is submitted and will automatically block the submission of the form if the validation fails. If the validation fails, the message you supply will be shown in the validation summary. It is important to note that this validation is only applied client-side, so a user can bypass your custom rules by changing or disabling JavaScript. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 186 on adding custom validators to forms useful.